Hey guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's probably one of the sadder videos, unfortunately. But I mean, obviously, we're not gonna make you kind of a bummed out mood because it is what it is. This is life. So we are heading down to the shops. My absolute last day at the shop. I mean, I'm gonna be pretty much getting all my stuff, and I'm gonna be telling you guys as soon as I get there the reason why it's my absolute last day, and I'm moving out. I'm getting all my stuff. With life, there's lessons, and there's a lot of things about life that you just don't anticipate, but it happens. It definitely happens. Life isn't perfect, but it's good. Let's just get to the shop real quick. I'm gonna be a safe driver, get to the shop, and then I'll fill you guys in on what's going on. But these pops, though. Oh, I love this car. All right, guys, Jonathan just pulled up. We just got to the shop, so that is awesome. The bumper is there from you guys know from the from the last video. Things happen in life, you know? Pulling up in the Odyssey, though. Shoo, this thing looks good. Man, all this thing is some airbags, some wheels, a new windshield, and some more maintenance. This thing's solid. You're good, brother. Yeah, let me show you guys what we have here that's technically, uh, do you think it's gonna offer in your car? No. <laughs> really? I don't know. I was, I was doing the calculations last night. I was like, should I bring the five series? Because it'll fit more. But I think let's see. Let's see how much room you got in here. Honestly, well, I do think everything should fit. This thing's actually huge. Dude, this thing always comes in handy. I know it really does. As much time as you thought about selling it, you're like, know, it comes handy. I, oh, not anymore. Yeah. You sold it to your dad. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, so yeah, let's just show you guys what we have, and hopefully it all fit in here. Uh, so every pretty much a lot of things on this wall. It's pretty much mine and some garbage, so I have to get rid of that as well. Um, as for this desk, well, I don't know. Do you want it? Because I don't. If I bring this home, I don't really don't know where to put it for the next two three months. So um, just gonna leave that here. Jonathan can sell. He can do whatever he wants with it. As for this thing, I know I can use it for storage at the at my garage. So I will be taking this, and I got a bunch of stuff there. What's going on up there? Oh, we do have some stuff over there as well. Yeah, and you have the one series bumper, right? Bumpers nowadays just don't sell. We do have that bumper, which is a pretty good shape, other than that little melted portion down there, which I'm gonna be getting rid of as well, because we're just gonna upgrade the body kit on the 135. Yeah, as for this stuff, so we do know we have to get all of this. What else is there? Okay, bada bing, bada bang. Pop this sucker open. You, uh, okay. You got a muffler. So, dang. Well, I mean, I'd rather junk those, to be honest. I don't think I need them. I have like a bunch of wrap of like Tiffany. I mean, it could be used for another build. Yeah. I don't know. Actually, a little mini yeah. build that you're trying to rebuild and shit. So, we'll leave that for Jonathan. We do have, actually, look at us. We're recycling and uh, shit. Sure. Damn. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. I started this program. Not, uh, my program is over here on my fridge. So, <laughs> like, it's not really looking too hot. But, um, anyhow, we'll move all that over here. Uh, but, yeah, as for me, I'm going to take the heater. The mufflers, if you guys want them, they're free. You're gonna leave them here. Um, I'm gonna just take the radiator, the condenser, and the fan. This is for, I believe, the 328. So, we do need that. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't even think there's anything else really in here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I do think it's all gonna fit in Jonathan's car. Let's go pack it up over there. And, and you guys are probably wondering, Nora, what is going on? Why are you leaving the shop? I'll have to explain. Me and Jonathan will sit with you guys. We're gonna go back to my house. We'll pretty much tell you guys what's going on, why I'm leaving, and uh, what 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 are what the future has in store for us. But um, yeah. Without further ado, get this area cleaned up, start packing up some things, and start loading it onto the Johnny Mobile, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Batmobile, but it's white. Anyhow. So I just got some garbage loaded up into the 435. You guys saw pretty much an entire huge time lapse. And then uh, just Jonathan's car is stacked on stacked. I mean, I don't even want to open this door. We got a bunch of stuff in there. And then this door right here, let's see if we can open it. That thing's falling out. Okay, all right, I'll do shit. Oh, damn. Okay, so as you guys can see, we literally have the whole world packed in this trunk. I mean, I don't know, understand how, this is a good van, bro. Yep. Uh, 
All right, so we got everything loaded up into the car. We do have uh, the stock 435 uh, bumper M Sport and the stock 135 bumper M Sport. Those are both I'm giving away absolutely for free. So if you guys want them, I'm gonna be having Jonathan's Instagram down below. He's gonna be at the shop a lot more for me. I mean, this is my absolute last day. So you guys hit him up and whenever he's here, he'll let you guys know and you can just come pick it up for free. Honestly, I really, I really just want it out of here. I'm gonna have to throw it away. And then also, we're also giving away the mufflers. So actually the 435 muffler is getting picked up right now. Jonathan, he already got somebody message him on Instagram. We have an M3 muffler and a 135 muffler. If you guys need them, come pick them up. Again, I have no room for this stuff, so come pick it up, guys. All my stuff is pretty much gone, besides my water bottle, and I'm super thirsty, so I'm gonna just take a little sip of that, make sure there's no bugs in there. But before we head out, we do have some things we have to take with us, which is all of this good stuff. So if you take all these YouTube plaques with us, we can probably put it in the next place. Here we go. <laughs> all right, so this is our 10K plaque right here. That you made, right? That I made, but well-deserved. I love it. Uh, this is the M3 plaque right here. So again, shout out to everyone that's on there. M3 plaque. That was an insane build. Literally, probably the best build I've ever had on this channel. Yeah. But, I mean, we're gonna have to do another one. Another crazy build. Uh, this one right here is the 335 build. So shout out to everyone on here. Little contributors, but this is probably one of my first, actually, I think it's this my first, first ever rebuild. rebuild. Yeah, first so, rebuild. shout out to everyone that's on here. I mean, you guys are real ones. This is the 100K special one that picked up the 100K merch within the first, I think, two days. Dang. So uh, shout out to everyone that's on there. And then uh, right here, we have the six, oh damn. The 2007, dang, he has a, yeah, hell of people helped on this build, the 650i build. I think this is the most recent rebuild. So yeah. shout out to everyone that's on there as well. Um, and I got this for you yeah, when I was Jonathan in Germany, got, actually. Exactly. So, so that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty sick, so. <laughs> it kind of feels sad, you know, I'm just it taking feels, all my, my things and I'm just heading out. I'm actually gonna leave these here for now until I get some frames for them. Yep. I don't wanna like, Crinkle them up in the car. Shout out to but, Marco. Yeah, shout out to Marco for making those for us. Those are pretty sick. Actually, technically, they're both my cars now, right? Yeah, they're technically both. Yeah, I forgot about that. It was my car, and yeah, now those it's are your sick. Car. Those, those are really so sick. sick. Yeah. Oh damn. All right, well. All right, well, guys, uh, this is probably the last of this place you guys are gonna see for a bit. For a little bit, because I'm still gonna be Jonathan's here. Jonathan's still here, so I'm, I'm probably still gonna swing by and help Jonathan out here and there. So I think we have everything at this point. I'm just gonna get yeah. my batteries, and then I'm Bro, good to go. it looks so empty. It looks yeah. weird. It's, uh, like I'm it's gone, all dude. like. I'm leaving. So, yeah, we'll, we'll tell you guys our future plan as soon as we get home. Because we need to take a shower and did you even eat, dude? I didn't even, well, I ate breakfast, but I'm kind of getting hungry Yeah, soon. so I'll probably go home, take a shower, we'll let you guys know what's going on. On the way home, I just got a low oil light and uh, it's saying it's below minimum. So that's not good. Luckily, we are almost at Costco and my uh, my boy Jonathan has the oil in his car that we took from the shop. So we're gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of oil on this thing and we should be good to go. So actually guys, this is not good at all. And, all right guys, so the car right now is saying continuous driving will cause engine damage. Pull over immediately and refill the car. So I'm actually worried now, this is kind of scary. So uh, Jonathan is two cars behind me, which is perfect. He has the oil in his trunk. So let's go ahead and just pull over the shoulder here. I'll just probably take this exit right here. Um, I'm two exits before my house, but I don't even care. I need to get some oil in my car, so. All right, guys, Jonathan to the rescue. We have the oil in the trunk. But what are the odds that we're driving here together and you actually have oil in the trunk? I know, it's pretty, Is it pretty freaking convenient right oh, now. Right? Look at that, oh, what a clinking. That one's open. That one's open? All right, we'll use this one. 5W30, we're good to go. Dude, that light was freaking me out. Yeah. I usually get like, it, it would normally say, dude, do you remember this spot? Is this, yeah. Car. Yeah, the, the car. What, what did it have and what yeah, the like the under tray was falling. Oh, it was falling off. It was this exact same so spot, which is I, crazy. I actually remember that. Was yeah, as soon as you're pulling up here. <laughs> um, BMW problems exact in this. I mean, somebody else looks like they had a current BMW issue right here. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so yeah, uh, hopefully when we get to go, it says it doesn't even like, you know, when it says like oil at minimum, and then it gives you like the engines like an, on orange and shit. Yeah. This one actually says engine on red and it says below minimum. Oh God. Yeah, so I was actually kind of scared. So that being said, even says use Castrol. Guys, we're not putting but nothing but the best. You know what I'm saying? Actually, lick molly is the best. All right, Jonathan, it says Castrol, all right? I'm following instructions. All right, put some in there now. Let me put it. It's, I mean, it's, it's pretty low. I put about a quart and a half. A quart and a half, you think? Yeah. We are at a little bit above four quarts. All right, so put, yeah. Oh, I missed something. We're doing an oil change in the middle of a Old Navy parking lot. Well, technically, this is like this fast food park. Oh, there's a hotel right here. Oh. Hey, you can stop right there, honestly. I think that's good. All right, so it says also this is okay. All right, well, no oil light right off the bat. Let's go ahead and just put measure oil level. This actually takes forever. It does take a long time. Like, it is so much quick on the e-chassis in this car. This actually loads up to 100%, guys. What a joke. Yeah. Well, that's loading. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. Pretty good? Chilling. 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 Nice. I'm, I'm starving. 
Yeah. <laughs> we literally said that the same time. <laughs> oh my god. I'm That's genuinely so hungry. It's not even funny. Bro. Are you trying to get like a drama juice? Or you want like a meal? I want a meal. Yeah, okay. What do you want to try to eat? Chipotle? Uh, what else is there? Chipotle. <laughs> uh, we got In N Out. I just had In N Out. Chipotle, uh, Burger King, Jack in the Box, Taco Bell, McDonald's. Chipotle it is. Chipotle it is. You know what, we're celebrating. It's a good day. It's gonna, it's gonna be a good day. It's kind of a sad day. Let's make I, it for me, it's a really good day. For you, it's a really good day. For me, it's kind of sad. Aww. Throwing oh, that aww music. Aww. <laughs> so let's celebrate with some Chipotle. I think that's great. For sure, for sure. So yeah, let's get some Chipotle. Well, first we're gonna go home. I'm gonna, I wanna take a shower to be honest. And, uh, oh, 97, 98, 100. Engine oil level okay? What does it tell me? I think it's behind your picture. I don't wanna take that off. My girl gets to stay there. Okay. All right, well, it it's okay, it's okay. So, so it's yeah, we're good. So right, anyhow, we put, huh? We almost put like two quarts in it. Oof, it's a little too much, but. This is okay. It's we'll okay. tell you if it's too high. Yeah. All right, well, this is right, what it is. Let's, let's go ahead down to Costco. We need some gas. We have Costco gas. This thing needs to get fully loaded. Jonathan's car is running on empty, so that's the main reason we're here. And I gotta get some gas for the boys. And we got all you guys over here and your constant support. I appreciate all you guys. Look at Jonathan over here. He's gonna be able to get his gas before me. So disrespectful. Fully loaded, boys. Let's head out. Hope I don't scrape. Hope I don't scrape. Oh, we made it. All right, guys. Let me go ahead and get all the plaques out, everything out of the car. Jonathan's pulling up in any minute now. Let's get everything in the garage. Jonathan just helped me unload all of this. Shout out to Johnny, my boy. But um, yeah, so we have all the stuff here. I'm probably gonna organize this another day. I wanna clean everything else, it's super dusty. Probably put it against this wall. Probably put up this fridge against the wall. And just pretty much set up my little atmosphere over here on this side of the garage. This is everything. That is, that's insane to think. I had this much stuff at the shop and I didn't, I, I really didn't feel it, but we did. I remember when we did our, our own little paint booth in the garage, there's all the stuff from the paint booth. Actually, this is more stuff from the paint booth. Absolutely insane of a project. You actually try painting a car in here. Anyhow, Jonathan's parking off his car. Time to get some food. We're hungry. Let's get it. Copper chilling like a villain. And we are off to get our Chipotle. We are starving, dude. It's 6 p.m. We haven't even eaten yet. Oh, God. At least I haven't eaten anything all day, so I'm starving. We got our water, our sauce, our Chipotle. We're happy. You already know. Oh, man. I'm starving. Okay. Alright guys, and we are officially back at the crib um, where I'm about to edit this video. So it's actually the next day, uh, me and Jonathan actually completely forgot. We got home from eating and uh, we were so, so, so tired. We just pretty much passed out on our bed. It is what it is. But to, just to give you guys a little bit of an insight and in what's going on, how can we leave? Well, I'm leaving the shop. Jonathan's going to be leaving in about two months. We're both leaving the shop. Um, it's because it's just not working out there. Uh, we have two other friends of ours that we're pretty much renting the shop with and they have different goals and visions for the shop. It's, I don't wanna get into too much details of that stuff, but basically the reasons they want the shop is completely different for the reasons we want the shop and it's just not working out. And it's just causing a lot of issues at the shop and uh, as people like me and Jonathan, as people that love to you know vlog and make content, it's just not really a YouTube friendly place anymore. So we're just not enjoying recording over there as often. So that's why you guys have been noticing a lot of my videos recently have actually been filmed at the house because I just feel a lot more comfortable doing it here. So I did move out, we did bring everything back. We were all gonna be looking for a new shop and it's just gonna be probably just me, me and Jonathan, actually most likely just me and Jonathan and make it very YouTube oriented. So don't worry, we're gonna be getting another shop. We're definitely gonna be getting another list. Lift, or if anything, we'll take the lift out of that shop and bring it to our next shop. So do not worry, guys. But anyhow, it, it's just kind of crazy how it's almost been a year that we've been at that shop, and uh, you know, life is absolutely crazy. It's like I remember when we first got into that shop. I think ten months ago in uh, September, I think I was at like twenty-eight thousand subscribers, roughly. And then, you know, lo and behold, we're at 135,000 and we're growing strong. So that's absolutely insane, guys. Thank you all so much for the constant support. In less than a year, we've we've literally quadrupled it. If not fifth, have, I don't even know. How to, we literally did an insane number to it. We put some insane damage to that number. So that's absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for the constant support. New supercar on the channel pretty soon. A lot of things happening to the 135 really soon. I'm sorry for delaying all the videos. It's just, I'm trying to figure out a couple things with my life right now. And once we get all that sorted out, then I'll be able to pump out all these videos. But as you guys saw, I'm uploading two days in a row. I might even upload tomorrow. If you guys want to see a tomorrow video, get this video to 1,500 likes. 
and I will upload tomorrow again three days in a row for you guys to so smash that like button and don't forget we're also getting a supercar pretty soon it's gonna be insane I'm super hyped for it we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of vlogs with that car gonna be taking it to pretty much every part of California Utah we're gonna be taking that thing on insane joy rides especially the keys auto show in New Jersey we're gonna be pretty much traveling the country with this supercar I'm super excited for it so I really hope you guys are too without further ado guys I love y'all so much remember to stay humble I'll see you guys in the next one peace out